Hi, I'm Jordan Gaskell, and today I want to talk about my opinion in regards to Oxford's removal of Her Majesty the Queen's portrait. Now, yes, I'm a little late doing this video, but it's still something I do want to put my thoughts on. I've just been a bit delayed with personal life, of course. Now, overall, of course, as many people are aware, I am a supporter of the monarch. I have right here with me, I would have hung it up, but you can't see it in proper very well within the video, so... I have the Royal Windsor flag in my possession. I have, of course, as well, within my room at all times, a portrait of our Head of State, at the moment being, of course, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Now, I am a proud supporter of our monarchy. I always will be. I believe it's a very important part of our culture, our society. But, now, this, this idea of removing her from Oxford, one of our most prestigious institutions of education, I believe to be quite mad, simply. Now, I've got a few notes here, and I want to go through all this with you. Now, for starters, of course, now... The guy that's actually demanded that this is removed, this woke, politically correct youngster, this, politi this woke, politically correct youngster, sorry, uh, as reported to us by the New York Post, he's not even a British citizen, he's an American. He's an American that has come to our country and demanded that we change. Who does he think he is? I could, it would still be outrageous to me for a British person to do it, but someone else coming here and telling us what we can do within our own educational institutions, I'd argue to be madness. And I'd be, uh, argue it to be very disrespectful on a personal and national level. Now, his argument for it, let's go into that. Now, his argument it represents racism, colonialism, imperialism. <sighs> now, let's think about this for a second here. History isn't there for you to rewrite, for you to decide what we do and don't talk about. The more and more, if you hate something like that in history, we need it there for more and more proof of not, of why we don't want to go into that in the future. So we don't repeat the same steps as, his, as we have in our history. We need that there. If you try to eradicate the past, you cannot learn for the future. We will be banished to a system where we'd have to repeat the same steps of the past. We need it, though, as a reminder that we don't. Now, going into that as well, you wouldn't go around to Saudi Arabia or Iran and say you'd have to do that. I mean, Saudi Arabia, is, I'm going to use as an example here, because you seem to be attacking the Western culture mainly, so I'm going to go for Saudi Arabia in the Middle East. In the, some of the biggest cities, they have portraits of enslaved Europeans. I mean, I remember once when I was looking at a video explaining what's actually in the museum, and there's one portrait where you have a German woman in a cage being sold for sex slavery. But you're not saying they have to remove that as it represents racism, as it represents colonialism as part of their empire. And you wouldn't. Racism can work both ways, and this idea where we have to hide our past and other countries don't is madness. We need our past and our history to learn and to build a future. You cannot just ignore the past. And to stop erasing our history, it's as simple as that. The whole idea, I'd argue to begin with actually, that we have to remove parts of our own history in case it offends people, yet on the other hand, when it comes to countries like Saudi Arabia, they don't, it's, it's, it's pure hypocrisy, okay, it's just pure hypocrisy, <sighs> this idea where you are constantly just blaming Western civilization is like, it's, it's pretty much like blaming a little Japanese girl for Pearl Harbor, it wasn't the Japanese girl that did Pearl Harbor, was it, but it's like that. It's, it's, it just does not make any sense. It's madness. The idea of a portrait representing our entire empire and everything bad that happened. What about all the good the British Empire did? All the countries we brung up in technology, in social contrast. Everything that we did, that was good. But you don't look at that, you only look at the bad, don't you? 
I condemn anyone who helps push this absurd motion and have damaged a part of our culture and one of our most finest and prestige institutions. I am a proud monarchist and I would like to finally end this by saying the following statement. God save the Queen. Thank you.